When I move out one day, my mom will be very sad. I feel my mom's love in my heart, like, right here. I, I'm feeling it right, right now. Sometimes I love, sometimes I don't. But when I'm angry, I don't. My mom is everything to me. She just is this ray of energy and sunlight and positivity. Mothers are very often regarded as the main cornerstone in the growth and development of a child. Of course, the value of a father's love, care, and attention should not be overlooked, but society as a whole seems to agree that the lion's share of nurturing in a typical two-parent home will come from the mother. A mother's true love for her child is said to be unconditional. That, of course, is simply a platitude as we've seen many mothers opt to neglect or even purposely harm their children for various sickening reasons. The question is whether or not this was an intentional act designed to cause the child's death. Casey's story? After the child died accidentally, her father, George Anthony, helped spin a cover-up tale and dispose of Kaylee's remains. But prosecutors were quick to point out how Casey's behavior said otherwise. How did she appear? completely normal. She seemed upbeat and happy. She was in a hot body contest. Her attorney blamed her wild behavior after the death of her child on a lifetime of physical and sexual abuse at the hands of her father and her brother Lee. Her father denied it all present. and went further. Your, did you obtain duct tape from your shed or garage and place it over the nose and mouth of Kaylee Anthony? No, I did not. And Casey's jailhouse conversations didn't help her case. Watch how she interacts with the man she now alleges molested her. Dad, it's not your fault. You know how much I love you, how much I've always loved you. You'll always be my buddy. And the case against Casey got worse from there. Ooh. You know, I know what that smells like. A chorus of witnesses described an overwhelming stench coming from the trunk of Casey's car. Even the canine officer smelled what his dog detected. Garrix jumped up into the trunk. And of course, I was overwhelmed at that point because same thing, I'm hitting it at the same time he is. Casey's own mother was doubled over on the stand as she listened to her own 911 call reporting that smell. And it smelled like there's been a dead body in the damn car. Thankfully, though, many mothers love, care for, and protect their children. But what if that unconditional love turned to an obsession? What would that mean for the dynamic of the family and the welfare of the children? This is the story of the murder of Dee Dee Blanchard.